There is a version of you that you have never met. A version living on the other side of overstimulation, distraction, and the dopamine hijacks that steal your clarity. Most people never meet this version, not because they're incapable, but because their brain has been miswired by constant stimulation, pressure, and the algorithm without consent. And the new year, it looks like a fresh start, but for most people, it's actually a nervous system hijack. Today, I want to show you how to interrupt that hijack and reclaim your brain in just seven minutes. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let's dig in. Most people walk into January already neurologically exhausted. You're coming off weeks of holiday overstimulation, broken routines, too much input, emotional residue from family dynamics, and nonstop comparison online. All while being told that this is the moment to change your entire life. Your calendar resets, but your nervous system does not. So you feel scattered, anxious, unmotivated, and strangely numb. And you assume that something is wrong with you, but nothing is wrong with you. This is what I call the New Year hijack. When the brain is overstimulated, it shifts into one of two unhealthy states. A strained brain, an anxious, overthinking, restless, unable to shut off mind. Or drained brain, numb, flat, disconnected, low motivation, sexual arousal dysfunction. Neither state supports focus, discipline, habit change, or clarity. This is why New Year's resolutions collapse so quickly. It's not a willpower issue. It is a nervous system issue. You cannot willpower your way out of a miswired brain. But here's the good news. When you interrupt the miswire, your brain can return to coherence. And coherence brings back clarity. It brings back motivation. It brings back emotional regulation and direction. You don't need to become someone new this year. You need to return to the regulated version of yourself. So let me share with you our signature brain hack strategy. It's a simple science-backed move you can use this week to interrupt that miswire and begin rewiring your brain back to that optimal full potential. This week's strategy I call the still seven. So if you're entering this year feeling overstimulated, pressured, or disconnected, this strategy is for you, my friend. Let me tell you how to do it. Step number one, about an hour, hour and a half before bed, intentionally make a cup of warm tea or sit with a bottle or a glass of water. Turn off your notifications, put your phone out of reach. Then step two, set a timer for seven minutes and sit in stillness, no scrolling, no planning, no fixing, just quiet and breathe. Step three, in the final minute, gently ask yourself, what did my nervous system need more of today? You're not solving anything, you're getting curious and then you're listening to what you need. Those seven minutes actually activate the default mode network in your brain, the DMN. The DMN is the part of your brain responsible for self-awareness, emotional integration, identity, and insight. It only turns on when you stop chasing stimulation. Most people never access it because they're constantly consuming, reacting, and multitasking. So the still seven turns the DMN back on and it turns those stress circuits off gently. Dopamine begins to stabilize. The nervous system downshifts into coherence. And then guess what happens? You go to bed regulated and you wake up the next day clearer. This is how you begin showing up 
as a clearer, more grounded version of yourself, not the miswired one. So try it out today. Now, if you don't feel much change from this, I want you to remember that in these brain hacks, we're using your mind and your body to rewire a miswired brain. But many brains are stuck in a neuro rigid pattern and they need more. That's what I do in QEG brain mapping. It can show you if your brain is stuck in strain brain or drain brain. And then I can build you a personalized plan so you can get back to clarity and focus. In this way, we can use advanced neuromodulation technology to help you unstick your brain, create more neuroplasticity, and rewire your brain so you can achieve your goals. Okay, so thanks for watching your Miswire Motivation video because there's gonna be a lot more of them for you. And remember to come back next week for the same information because these are small steps to rewiring your brain to create the life that you want and you deserve this year. So in the meantime, remember, control your brain or it will control you. I'll see you next time.